So, so it's great to see you, Christine. Congratulations on being the 2021 uh, winner of the very prestigious um, Richard Taylor Advocates Award. He would be very proud of all of the work you do. How do you feel about that? Thanks, Kate. I'm, as you can tell, I, I'm still trying to absorb being given this award. I'm, I'm so honored. Uh, it's very humbling. Uh, of course, you know, when we look back to all the advocacy work done um, with Richard and then all the way through to all the other people and you and Christine Bryden and so many others and and to be to be honored with this kind of award um, uh, was uh, I'm losing my words because it's so I don't want to cry <laughs> it's so touching and it means so much and it just really really shows that you know even when we think maybe we're not doing enough and not making a difference we are having an impact and i hope it's encouraging others to 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 step up and and work with us and and advocate because i most certainly wouldn't have done all the work I have done and am continuing to do if it wouldn't have been for all the support in mentoring and cheering on many times um, from my DAI family. So um, it's, it's just such an honor. I just really am, <laughs> it's just like, I don't want to cry, but. You're, you're truly, allowed to cry. It, it's a very great honor, Christine. And it is a great honor. It's, uh, and, and I, I wasn't, it was, it came, uh, you know, I know lots of people think, well, you must've had an idea, but no, I actually didn't have an idea. So I, I was really taken by surprise and, what a great surprise <laughs> yeah. and I truly hope that going forward I can continue to do work that Richard and all the others would be proud of and that you know um, I can continue to to have a positive role. Um, well, we we all of the all of the dementia advocates, all of DII members, they're all very proud of you, Christine. And even though you stepped down from the board earlier this year, that didn't you didn't lose your commitment to supporting other people living with dementia through Dementia Alliance International and with other organisations because we're not the only one. Uh, and it's so important, you know. I watched you from when I first met you in a peer to peer support group. And I don't think you were ever quiet and mousy, but you were like all of us when we're first diagnosed, kind of beaten into hopelessness. And, you know, that's the joy I know that you get from seeing more newly diagnosed people with dementia in our support groups. And, and that's what it is. And you're right. That's how it did feel. And when I first found DAI, I did feel hopeless. And uh, my confidence was gone. And I really felt like I didn't have any hope. And through DAI and all my connections, I found that hope. And it gave me purpose again. And being mentored to, to you know, write a blog and, and write a speech and put it forward you never know it might get accepted and things get accepted and and it starts to build you up and you start to realize that this is really important and then you start mentoring others and that truly is my favorite thing to do is to mentor others and and support them uh, through the hard times because we all know when you first get diagnosed how devastating it is. And, and when you find that support um, and the peer-to-peer -peer support, I have to say there's wonderful groups and organizations out there. 
I help some of them. I am involved sometimes with some of them on different things. They are great. But the peer-to-peer -peer support that DAI offers is truly something unique and special. Um, and it truly is a place where when you are in that depth of despair, for lack of better words, it lifts you up and it helps you find your way. And many of DAI's members now work in various avenues within many different organizations and they cross back and forth. Um, and it's wonderful to watch them spread their wings. There's nothing better. And that's an honor to me to be able to have been given that gift by people like you. I mean, you were my greatest mentor, um, still are <laughs> in, on so many levels. Um, and, and to be able to give that back is truly such, such a gift to be given. And I hope to keep giving it and, and I am really grateful to all the members in DAI. Um, you know, it's so great to work with them on different things. You know, Wally and I had a, we're working on the, the cafes together and we were having a lot of fun with that. And I hope to do some more of that with him and just different, you know, we did the, the special Christmas um, programs and different things. The world rocks against dementia. It's fabulous, fabulous. And, and it's truly honored that the members thought enough of me or whoever the judges are, I don't even know, <laughs> but I'm just honored. I'm really honored and very touched. Yeah, and I, I think importantly that one of DAI's co-founding members, the late Dr. Richard Taylor, he is watching you and he'd be very proud of all that you do too, Christine. So congratulations again. Uh, and Thank we all you love you very much. What you've done. Thank you.